Hello and welcome back. In this episode we're going to take a look at um, how to extract data out of the rev model uh, using Dynamo. Um, there's a couple different ways we can do this. Uh, we can use we could use Flux, we could use Dynamo, we could just um, export directly from Excel. Um, but we want a little bit more automated as we begin to build these these different uh, scripts to kind of automate the process for us. So let's take a look here. Um, it's a pretty simple um, simple um, program here. I'll take a look at it in 3D. So it's just a bunch of open office, private office, um, storage, mechanical, uh, typical typical things you'd find in a in a workplace office. This um, you could use this for uh, all types of sectors, K-12. Um, you could do it for stadium seat counts or rooms in, in a stadium that you're trying to hit um, in the program therein. So um, what I've done is I've just taken a look at first floor, um, kind of grabbed all the, all the rooms on this level, um, grouped them by color, by department. So um, it's got all the square footages here. I've clumped those together in, in other schedules, meaning um, that total square footage is a representation of all these numbers added up, uh, so on and so forth. Um, and then these numbers can get divided out um, as we grab them in, in Dynamo. So if you remember from one of my previous episodes, um, we took a look at grabbing a, a document from Excel and pushing all this information into Dynamo to populate our rooms for us. Um, we're going to freeze that for now and, um, and uh, take that information and so uh, we've got that turned off for just a minute. So um, for workplace, I just kind of took a took a stab at this here and said open office, private office, mechanical circulation, um, and then part of those rooms out a little bit. There's there's obviously more departments that amenity, um, so on and so forth. But as this example, um, we're just using this for a test case. So um, I've got all that turned off for now. And what I'm actually going to do is um, grab all these schedules and then have them. Uh, divide out their ratios uh, as far as the project is concerned. Um, so color coordinated, blue is private office, mechanical is that green color right there, open office being the gray and, and uh, circulation being this pink. Um, I've we can we can really add anything if there's future needs, um, future uh, departments that need to be added to this. We can go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. I'm gonna bring in all the rooms, um, but we're only gonna calc for first floor. So let's do a run on this script. Um, bring everything in, and there's all my numbers. Um, uh, another thing to, to keep in mind is if you wanted to take out all the um, uh, workspace, all the, all the desks, uh, so on and so forth, uh, as part of a number, uh, it wouldn't be too difficult. Um, I think we've we've got it to where these these are um, calculatable and they're room aware. So this one knows it's in the open office and it's calculating at 42.9 square feet um, so we can we can actually use Dynamo to grab all that information and uh, extract it pull it out there's that 52 one it's actually over here um, and then we can we can start to subtract out these areas out of the, these areas and if I'm not mistaken it should have grabbed that uh, little file grab that little file and give me my, my ratios. So we can start to use this data, populate it back into, uh, well really transfer it over um, directly to this next file and, and spit out um, all my pass fails, um, departments, open office, private office, um, how it's all divvied out, what the program area is calling for, um, and, and what Revit is spitting out to us. Once we know all of that information, we can actually take all this and um, actually apply it to a visualization program like uh, Microsoft Power BI. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that information looks like. So as you can see, we've got that floor plan, all the all the cubicles, all that area, um, all the floors kind of divvied out over here. Uh, my my square footage ratios, how many uh, rooms I have, and then how that compares, how each room compares in terms of quantity to the next room as part of the total project. Um, these, this dashboard side over here gives me uh, all my rooms that have kind of given me a fail in the sense that either they're too small or they're too large to meet the client's program. And then this kind of as a project manager tells me how many of that 
um, as a percentage is, is actually failing. We're at about a quarter, um, and that's fine. You'll, these these will never be at zero, um, just because of you know uh, janitor's closet uh, might be 67 square feet and only calling for 60. Uh, you know that's not going to be a big deal. But what's important is being able to analyze the data that that we're looking at. So of all my PR offices, private offices. Um, I can start to see, okay, I have three on first level, two on second, two on third, and, and two on fourth. So that's pretty interesting. That represents 100% of my total. Um, a little bit further analysis would show that, let's say, if I just wanted to see only the rooms on uh, first level, I can kind of see that, that, that number start to, to divvy out. Um, a keen eye would be able to see I have 100% of all my program storage on first level. Well. Does that, that basically means I don't have any storage program for second, third, or fourth. That might seem a little odd, and that's something you can catch with a data analysis tool like this. Let's reset. And once we reset, um, let's take a look at a comparison too. So let's say I had a, a question about all my projects of, of all time and, and how those end up give it, getting divvied out. So let's say I had 12 uh, workplace projects and they averaged 44% uh, open office. And then I take a look at mine and I see my open office is actually only um, about 14%. So uh, there we have a, not necessarily a bust, but something to uh, compare to. Something we, we have a comparison to, to contrast. So this side is pulling from all my projects ever and, and giving me an average of, of all these different columns of open office, private office, collaboration, support. So there's actually some departments here that I don't have listed in here, which could be another key indicator to uh, improve my program and my, my building. So we're going to take a look at this, and we're going to go ahead and publish this to the web. And once, once that's up on the web in a kind of a HTML browser, we can actually use this, send this to the client. Um, Th this is great for a, from a PM standpoint, but maybe not show that to the client because it's still a working model. Um, but there are uh, different comparisons uh, that we can show and, and visualize that data. So, okay, and that's all for now.